This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! It has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable money plays. Break yourself, fool! And one play touchdowns that score versus every single defense in Madden 23. Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my favorite offense out of my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook, as I think this is the best offense to use in Madden 23. Before I get into the gameplay though, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more. And if you need even more help on offense or defense, you can check out this or any of my ebooks. All you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I start this game out on offense and I will once again be using my five play offense out of the gun stack by Flex. I have made several videos videos about this offense already including some that go over plays that I'm not even going to show in this video. So if you guys want to see more from this offense I will have links to those videos in the description as well as on screen pops at the end of the video so stick around for that. There are two things that you must do every single play for this offense to work. First you have to set your audible plays which should be the first thing you do on offense before you ever run a play. If you run the Saints offensive playbook like I am here you only have to change one play the Z spot to the drive H wheel which is probably my most used play in Madden 23 as it beats just about every single defense in the game in multiple ways and that's it as all the other plays are already set for you you already have the inside zone which is the only run play you need the fade out which can be a one play touchdown against cover three cover four or against man coverage to the outside then you also have the pa re which is a one play touchdown against cover two man or zone or any cover four defense right through the middle then I also get to pick a fifth play, which is the current play that I'm going to be running when I come to the line of scrimmage. This used to change a lot based on what my opponent was running mostly throughout the game, but it made it kind of a guessing game. I would use plays like the sail and pivot versus players that use a lot of man defenses, or I would use plays like the corner strike against players that use a lot of zone defenses, for example. But if you guess wrong, the play might not work, leaving me with only four options. I go over all those other plays in my ebooks as they're all great plays, but over time I found that it was best just to call the Y sail play every single time, as it has multiple routes that beat both man and zone. As the play is really important to my offense, this is one of the few dink and dunk short yardage plays in the entire scheme. This scheme is all about taking what the defense gives you, so the next step is to read the defense. I've also put out a full video breakdown on how to do this, so if you need more help, I will once again have links in the description and on screen at the end of the video. Before I even look at the coverage though, the first thing I'm going to do every single play is a box count. Since I have five blockers, if my opponent has five or less, I'm going to switch to the inside zone until he stops it or has to change defenses entirely. One of the most important things to know when using this offense is that all the big plays come from the stacked wide receiver side, so it's important to get your opponent to focus their attention somewhere else, either by passing to the running back and tight end in the Y sale or by running the ball with the inside zone. I don't get much on the first play, but when I get back to the huddle, I see that he was in cover three. When I get back to the line of scrimmage, I read cover three again, so I want to set up my cover three one play touchdown to fade out, but that play requires a lot of space to the sideline. Since he is still in a light box, I run the inside zone again, making sure to finish the play as far to the right side of the field as possible so I can start the next play on the hash mark. On the next play, I see he is once again in cover three, and since it's first down and I am on the right hash mark, I have everything I need to take a shot. All I have to do to set up the fade out is put the X route on a comeback route, and that will allow the wheel route to get outside of him. At this point, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead to the sideline, and the only thing that can stop this play is the sideline itself, as I decide to safe catch it rather than risk the rack catch being caught out of bounds. Now, I am too close for a one play touchdown, so I will use the short offensive plays like the Y sale. The easiest way to use this play is to split the field and half as the left side receivers beat man, the right side running back and tight end beat zone, and the tight end and X route beat both. He is still in cover three, so I take the running back underneath for a safe catch and run. Then on the next play, I can see that he has switched to the man zero blitz. So I switch to the drive H wheels. The running back is usually wide open for an easy walk-in touchdown as the user forgets to cover him. This game doesn't last very long though as I get a sack on the first play for a big loss followed by an interception and my first rage quit of the video only two minutes into the game. See ya! In the next game I'm playing in a possible Super Bowl preview with the Buffalo Bills. I start the game out on defense and I'm going to be using my new cover two man defense that I just put out but I'm going to focus mostly on offense in this video so if you want to see more I once again have a link in the description. 
As I get a sack to force a third and 18 before he forces a bad pass for my first interception of the game. Got he. Back on offense, nothing has changed. I see he's in a light box, so I run it on the first play to get to the sideline once again. On the next play, though, he switches to a man zero blitz much faster than my first opponent, so I go back to the drive age wheel. Once again, only this time, I'm a little bit too far away to score, but at least I get inside the five yard line. From here, I hit the wheel route once again as it also gets open under zone coverage. Then I punch it in with a QB sneak from the one yard line to take the lead. Back on defense, my cover two man makes him work for everything he gets, but he converts a few big third downs to eventually work his way down the field and into the red zone before converting a big fourth and goal from the six Damn it! to tie the game with under two minutes left before half. I know I can score from any time with this offense, so my plan is to kill a little bit of clock first before I get in the ball back with no time. So I get the clock going with another inside zone versus a light box, and you can see that on our next play, he is already dropping the safety to try to take this away. So on the next play, I hit the table route outside for an easy catch and run on the next play i read cover three once again and see him dropping the safety pre-snap so i know i got him he must be familiar with this play too as he tries to get over to cover the wheel route only to be way out of position as i get another huge play on the next play i see another weak box so i keep it on the ground to get inside the 10 i read cover zero once again and one of my favorite red zone setups is to put the x route on a slant from the drive age wheel the wheel route is still the first read but if the user follows that and tries to take it away then the slant is usually wide open open in the area they left right over the center of the field but he doesn't even do that so we walk it in for a go-ahead score now with only 18 seconds left we start to get some Madden BS as I call a cover two man only to get bombed on the outside by a simple fade route to tie the game maybe if it was Diggs I would understand what the hell is that now with only eight seconds left he finds a defense that I can't score against oh you mother <laughs> okay. So I call a timeout and switch to a different formation entirely, hoping to get two quick plays in before taking a field goal. But this backfires in a big way as I'm playing way too aggressive and instead throw a pick six as time expires to go into half down a touchdown. What are you fing retarded or something? That ain't Right. No big deal though, as I just have to ramp up my offense a little bit. I get the ball back after half to see what looks like a cover six, since one cornerback is eight yards off the line of scrimmage on what looks like the cover four side, and the cornerback on the other side is right in front of the receiver on what looks like a cover two. So the PA read scores versus all these defenses, so I make my adjustment by putting the Y route on a fade and the A route on a curl. He starts out covering low once again, using a linebacker in the running back slash tight end area before once again recognizing the play and going in a full sprint deep to try to take it away and stop it see ya Back on defense, we get him into a quick fourth and one from his own 38 before he uses this as an opportunity to go downfield for a huge play before scoring on the very next play to take the lead back. Now down seven again, I am not forcing anything. I stick to the system and a weak box count is a weak box count. On the next play though, he pinches the defense and shuts me down. Then on third and one, he does it again, but I see he is in a zone, so I take the running back underneath once again for the first. He starts the next play in cover zero before switching to what looks like another cover three. So since it's first down and I'm on the hash mark, this is another perfect opportunity to take a shot. So I switch to the fade out once again, only this time I ain't safe catching shit. This is a shootout, so we rack catch this and we take it to the house to tie it up once again. Back on defense, I come on the exact same cover two man defense with the exact same setup that he scored against before half. Nope. And he tries the exact same play, only this time the defense gets the takeaway, as both the cornerback and the receiver could have made a play on the ball. So what the hell happened the first time? Back on offense and back to that box count, as he doesn't let me get much, but I'm already in field goal range, so I'm being cautious. On third and nine, though, I go back to the exact same Saints fourth play that I used before half to throw an interception for a touchdown. So he knows that I want to hit the corner route, but the tight end route gets open also. So once I see him break outside I take my shot and moss his user for the go-ahead score back on defense he tries that exact same play he got lucky with before and once again we get the interception again proving that that first time was total BS now in the fourth quarter I am back to kill clock mode as I read another cover six with the cornerbacks at different depths so I switch to the drive age wheel to streak the B route to get the corner route open against the gap on the cover two side as this can also be a one play touchdown but somehow an out of bounds animation is triggered from almost five yards in bounds ending the play what on the next play, the box count is six, so running is out, but the flat route is open for a catch and run. Then he comes out and man zero, so I decide I'm going to score. So I switch to the drive H wheel one more time, and all you have to do is put the B route on a streak, and the DBs usually get crossed up for an easy score to put this game almost out of distance. That's just too easy. Now two scores, he's going to be in a hurry up offense the rest of the game, and I don't mind just as long as I can keep the clock running. So I shade outside and try to use the center of the field, but ultimately he goes down the field like only Josh Allen can, scoring right after the two minute warning. 
warning to be back within a touchdown. Damn it! So now with the clock being the primary goal, I kind of go against my box count rule just to get the clock running, but it works out as I get my biggest run of the game, but I'm still forced out of bounds to stop the clock. Oops. Then he goes back to man zero out of desperation, leaving the running back wide open for a big play that almost scores once again. And we get a look at my offensive stats as I have almost 500 yards on the game before forcing the run on the next play against another stack box to end the game. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys like the content and want to see more, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section, as it really helps out the video and the channel. Other than that, as promised, I will have some helpful content about how to read a defense and more plays from this offense popping up on the screen. So if you guys want to see more, just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.